Today we're going to learn how to record attendance on the ELC provider portal. To begin, launch your browser. You can either use Internet Explorer or Firefox or any other browser of your choosing. I'm going to use Internet Explorer for today's example. And notice that I've already set up default home pages that include the elcmdm.org main page, the production environment for providers.elcmdm.org, as well as our test environment. If you're a provider trying to record your attendance, you can quickly get to providers.elcmdm.org by simply typing it in the URL or go to our main page, www.elcmdm.org, and then single clicking to the left on Provider Portal in blue. For today's example, I'm going to manipulate the test environment. Your first step is to log in with your credentials. Your username is usually an email address, and the password is whatever you decided to set up at the time you created your account. This should be very familiar to you, especially if you've already filled out your provider agreements. School readiness, VPK, or attendance is at the top of the page. Single click on attendance to get started. Here, you can navigate between the different time periods. For today's example, I'm going to manipulate April. Seems rather harmless, especially since April has long since passed. Notice on the page, you can allow yourself to view certain aspects of information that might be important to you. For example, you can choose to show or not show weekends. Further, you can choose to see the redetermination dates or not see the redetermination dates. Last, you can show or hide additional details. Notice that the date of birth has disappeared when I select no. In addition, the page allows you to scroll both up and down and left and right depending on your needs. Let's begin with school readiness attendance. The assumption with all the X's are that each child is present throughout every day in the month, every working day, 22 days in the month of April, excluding weekends. Again, if your center is open on weekends, you can show weekends and record attendance accordingly. Let's manipulate Fred Hicks. If we select edit, it allows you to expand the window to record attendance for just Fred Hicks. X represents present. The little period, ignore for weekends. E is an excused absent. A is absent. N is absent without pay. H is for holidays. D is for disasters. And T is for terminate. You're only going to tell us the exceptions on the attendance. So let's assume just for today's example that there is an excused absence on the 3rd, an excused absence on the 11th, and if we hit saved, the attendance is recorded accordingly. Notice the E for these two dates. Let's go further and edit him one more time. Let's assume that there was a third excused absent. And then, unfortunately, an N on the 24th. Notice the number of days have recalculated to 21. After every edit, you must save. Let's assume that Fred is the only child that was absent throughout the month of April. If that is the case, then we are prepared to close the attendance. Let's just start by clicking on Close Attendance. Notice it will ask you one time. 
You're about to close the month for school readiness, a non-reversible action. Are you sure? Again, you will receive just this one warning. If you are sure, select yes. If not, select no. No cancels and leaves the page available for further edits. Let's try it again and this time watch what happens when we choose yes. The page calculates and then the status has changed to closed. Notice there are no longer any edit buttons on either side of the children listed. In addition, a closed ticket is issued. Now we're prepared to switch to VPK. Again in April, there are two students and we will manipulate Angelo Perino. Here, the 80-20 rule applies. So let's just assume that Mr. Perino had an absence on the 8th and again on the 18th. Notice the calculation of the dates have changed and after every edit you must choose save. The same rules apply for closing the VPK attendance. If you select close attendance you receive one warning. You're about to close the month for VPK, a non reversible action. Are you sure? If you are certain, select yes. Again, closed is the new status and a closing ticket has been generated. Once you have completed your attendance, if there's nothing else you'd like to perform inside the provider portal, you can simply log out.